Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to do a really quick video to explain to you how you can adjust the joystick speed of your Crane 2. So you can take the control from this speed to this, which is roughly half the speed. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking Zion Play app, because you can change all the PTZ settings in the Play app. You can do, but there seems to be a bit of a glitch in the app in that it doesn't affect the joystick control like it should do. So despite changing all of the parameters uh, to give you a smoother, slower control, it doesn't seem to save them to the joystick. Works fine for the actual pan control while moving the Korean 2. These settings work absolutely great, but if you are trying to save the settings for the pan control, it doesn't work. Sorry, the dog is now playing with a bone. In your bed. Go to your bed. Yep. Good boy. So to achieve the slow setting, we need to jump over to the Zion desktop application. Let's jump over there now. The dog's joined me for this one. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is head over to the Zion Tech website, which is zion-tech.com. Um, and on there, click the download tab, which will take you to the download page. Uh, now, in order to manage the gimbal, uh, you'll need to download the calibration tool, the USB drivers, and while you're on there, you might as well download the latest firmware as well. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to download all of that. It's pretty self-explanatory, um, and I'll link a video in the description uh, which explains it all in detail. Once you have that all installed on your PC, you should be able to access this program, which is the Zion Gimbal Tools program. Um, having your gimbal switched on, you simply plug the gimbal in to your PC. It will recognize that there is something plugged into COM4, whatever that is. Uh, click open and now we've actually opened the ports on the gimbal so that we can start controlling the gimbal. Um, in settings, we have all of our PTZ settings. So these are the same as what's in the mobile application and these are the things that we can change to um, affect how uh, the gimbal is controlled. The ones that we want to be looking at are control rate. As standard, I think these come at 25 degrees per second. So what I've done is I've dropped these down to 10 degrees per second um, and then simply click save. So to give you an example of this, if we do five and five and then click save, it will save those settings. You will hear the gimbal make a slight click as it changes those, so I can hear it um, doing something. Um, if I click close, unplug the gimbal from the computer, turn it off, turn it back on again. Stick it into lock mode just so we can test these settings and then now the gimbal is, well, it's even slower than what I had it before, so five degrees per second is what the gimbal's rotating now compared to the 10 I had before. Um, so really, really simple. Desktop application works absolutely fantastic compared to the mobile application. Um, so if you're going to be changing your PTZ settings, do it on the desktop application for the time being because they will save, whereas the Android application doesn't work. Having slower controls on the joystick will make the thing much more easy to get cinematic movements um, with than having the thing whipping around all over the place. And so I hope you found that useful. If you did, click subscribe. I will try and do more tutorials on the uh, Crane 2 um, as I get used to it. I'm not an expert, but it's interesting to play with these things. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.